Hi, this is Tim. Today I wanted to share an application example that a user sent in using the PLC tools SIM-IPE. He's setting the IP address of a SUS servo drive. He starts by setting his IP address or the target IP address that he wants to go to the drive and he's putting it 192.168.1.1. Then we hit the cancel button and we're gonna go down to assign address and we're gonna use boot P DHCP. And then the IP is gonna wait until it gets a IP address assignment request from the SU drive. Now, depending on the particular device, this may take you know more time than with other devices, but eventually it does. And now we get a signal there that says, okay, set to static. We click OK, and we have successfully set that IP address to static. So in this case, this was a new drive out of the box. It had DHCP enabled by default from the factory. And he wanted to set the IP address to 192.168.1.129. So he plugged the SIM IP into the servo drive and it waited until it got a DHCP request from the drive and it assigned it there. Now here's where one of the big advantages of an Ethernet IP device is, is not only was it able to assign it, it was also able to set it to static. So typically when you'd cycle power on it, you would lose that and it would be looking to get an address next time. Well, now it is set to static, so it'll be there until somebody decides it needs to change it again. So I hope this application has been helpful. Guys, if you have some unique applications that you're using the PLC Tools SIM IPE for, please reach out to me. I would love to share them with everyone. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.